Let's just double check a few of these groups for 2017 for the wall calendar. Sounds good. Can you believe 2016 went by so fast? Oh my goodness. Yeah, what with our two regular even year events. You know, I love Farm Progress Show, even in all that heat with all the tours and the internationals, and then we have all those crazy Odyssey kids coming through. Last February kicked off some great new events working with ISU Agronomy to host the first ever ISU Soil Health Conference, which happened in a blizzard. In addition, we enjoyed beautiful band music, helping ISU host the Collegiate Band Directors National Association 2016 North Central Division Conference, bringing in eight collegiate bands from across the Midwest to perform as part of their event. Then we spent spring break with a thousand vet students who attended the SABMA Symposium, which included four days of special events, exhibits, athletic competitions, tours, and workshops. We also held the quietest planning meeting ever, working with the Iowa Deaf Seniors Conference. They signed and we did a lot of writing, but the hotels told us that they were so much fun. Our new partnerships on campus brought us opportunities to host the Big Ten Treasury Conference and the Big 12 Auditors Conference. Along with new partnerships, we also had the privilege of working with some clients for 30 years. Annual Shade Tree Short Course, Annual State Fire School, Iowa County Engineers Association Conference, and Iowa High School Music's All-State Music Festival. What are you guys working on? I heard you say something about 30 years. Oh, we're working on the wall calendar. We've been talking about some events that have been around for 30 years, just like the Bureau. Speaking of the 30th year, the Iowa Games celebrated the 30th anniversary of hosting the Summer Iowa Games, once again hosting 50 sports over three weekends in Ames. Also hosting their event for over 30 years in Ames, Special Olympics Iowa held their state summer games, bringing over 2,500 athletes for three days to compete in seven different sports on Iowa State's campus. In 2016, we saw the return of some familiar groups. Beat Baseball made its way back to Ames, bringing 20 teams from around the country, hosting their World Series for individuals who are blind or visually impaired. USA Ultimate High School Central Championships returned for their third year in a row, bringing 25 boys and girls teams from across the Midwest. Nevada hosted a couple of new groups at the Score Recreation Complex. U.S. Quidditch Midwest Regional Championships had 13 teams from surrounding states compete in this full contact sport that was inspired by the Harry Potter series. ASA Softball hosted their 16 and under girls fast pitch Northern National, which brought 37 teams playing for five days at the end of the summer. 2016 went by so fast. What events were your favorites, Allison? It's hard to pick a favorite, Sean. This year was so busy promoting all of our sites of Ames and their events. There was the Mary Greeley Medical Center 100th birthday celebration and world record attempt with over 2,000 people in attendance. This fall, University Museums, the Ames Historical Society, the Octagon, Ryman Gardens, and others all worked together on planning and hosting the Iowa Museum Association's 40th Annual Conference in Ames. They had record attendance this year. We had over 30 community grant events hosted by Sites of Ames this year. The Ames Fireworks, Ames Main Street Farmers Market, and Campus Town Summerfest were all huge community events. Don't forget all the rodeo events that were held in the Hanson Egg Student Learning Center, Extreme Bull Ride Tour, Tough Enough Miniature Rodeo Associations, National Finals, and the Cyclone Stampede Rodeo, the nation's only student-run rodeo. The Hanson Center was the location for our annual meetings celebrating Ames slightly off-center, but it was also the location for the first annual Ames Home Builders Home and Garden Show. Over 1,200 people attended the show over two days in March. 2016 was an amazing year, and 2017 looks just as amazing, if not more so. We'll be seeing triple. Celebrating three decades by looking forward. <laughs>